Hi everyone, this is Mike Riley, uh, Journalist Toolbox editor and founder, and we're here with another Journalist Toolbox training session. Um, uh, if you want to follow along, uh, you can uh, always stop the video and uh, go to the pages that we're going to talk about. Uh, today we're going to look at a tool called uh, uh, Landscape uh, uh, Social Media Image Resizer. Um, Landscape is a tool that's built by Sprout Social, which uh, creates a lot of social media tools and does some analytics with social media. Uh, their landscape tool lets you resize images right in your browser so they perfectly fit into various sizes for social media accounts, whether it be Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Um, and uh, to access that, uh, uh, those tools, um, you can scroll down on the toolbox and uh, in the lower left-hand corner, uh, there's a page here called Twitter Resources, uh, and you'll wind up here. Uh, and there's all kinds of tools we have up here for creating social media graphics and videos and things like that. Um, you can see this guide that Sprout Social has right here to sizing images properly for social media and the importance of that. Um, also has this tool landscape right down here, a few links down from there. Uh, that's the tool that we're going to work with today. Um, this little uh, link up here to their uh, guide on social media imaging uh, and, and sizing images uh, is this little article right here, and I highly recommend, especially if you're teaching, have your students read this uh, very early on. They talk about their landscape sizing tool here, uh, but also go over uh, the importance and, and why you need to uh, size things differently for the various networks. Otherwise, they'll auto crop photos and they'll uh, chop somebody's head off or, you know, it'll look really bad. Um, but it uh, shows you, you know, the different sizes, 180 by 180 pixels is optimal uh, for a Facebook uh, profile image, things like that. Even though your phone or, or your uh, uh, Facebook app might crop it for you, uh, it might not be doing a good job of that. So if you size it perfectly to fit these different platforms, uh, you'll have more control over how your page looks, and that's important. So the social uh, image resizer tool is available at sproutsocial.com slash landscape. Uh, this is a free browser-based tool. Um, you can use it uh, anytime, anywhere. It's very popular among social media editors that have to uh, generate a lot of images and resize a lot of graphics and crop things quickly uh, without having to go into Photoshop and even with presets. You know, it's, it's not a lot of fun. Uh, so if you want to, hit pause and open this SproutSocial.com slash landscape tool and then rejoin us in a second or two and we'll show you how the tool works. Okay, now you should have this uh, tool uh, open and available to you. This is Landscape. Um, all you have to do is drag an image in here, uh, and it will give you the choices of different social networks and sizes that you might want. Uh, it will size the image for you, give you some cropping capabilities in, in the software, and then it'll download it uh, to your downloads folder as a little zip file, uh, so you'll have the resized image. Um, so I've got a couple of images out here that I want to size and crop and maybe use in uh, a Twitter post. And one of them is a pretty big uh, horizontal photo. This is a very somber looking Rahm Emanuel, um, uh, former mayor of Chicago. And then I've got another photo here too of the much maligned Bears quarterback, uh, Mitch Trubisky, uh, throwing a football. Uh, both of these are, uh, you know, strong horizontals. Um, and if I wanted to crop these maybe into a square or more of a uh, a vertical presentation on Twitter. Um, uh, to do that, uh, you know, I wouldn't want Twitter doing the cropping here because it'd probably chop off half of uh, Rahm Emanuel's face. So I can drag Rahm's photo right in here, uh, and it gives me the original crop, and then it gives me the different social channels uh, that are available here. Uh, you can do a custom one where you can type in the, the pixel width and height, but it also has presets in here for various YouTube, Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn now. Uh, they've added that uh, in, you know, Twitter, Pinterest uh, as well. Uh, so I can select uh, uh, my choice there, which is uh, Twitter. Um, and then I can select it, you know, if I want it for a profile uh, photo, in-stream tall or in-stream wide. In-stream wide would be pretty much the same crop as uh, what I have there. But I'm going to select in-stream tall to give it more of a square presentation. Um, and then it gives me a, a chance to uh, crop it a little tighter. Uh, if I wanted to, I can zoom in, zoom out a little bit. It doesn't give me a ton of controls, uh, but I can slide him over here a little bit and do this very quickly. It's a lot quicker than doing this in Photoshop. And then I'll hit download. 
Um, it'll take a second here. Uh, it'll process and then bingo, uh, you go to your downloads folder and there's a little zip file. You just take that out to your desktop, double click on it, and there's your cropped image. You, know, you don't have to worry about copying over the old image or anything like that, but there's your new cropped image that'll fit perfectly into a Twitter tall presentation. So again, Landscape Social, really, really good uh, tool, the Landscape tool by Sprout Social. Um, you can resize images very quickly right in your browser. Um, good for moving, you know, a lot of graphics at one time, you know, maybe election night or, uh, you know, if you've got a very busy social media shift. Uh, college instructors, you know, show this to your students very early on in a digital reporting class, uh, and they will thank you for it later and it'll make life much easier for everybody. Uh, again, the tool is right here, SproutSocial.com landscape. You can find more training videos on the rail of journalisttoolbox.org. We have a, a YouTube page uh, full of dozens of them. So uh, have at it and enjoy. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.